Okay, let's go over the interior seats first. You can make this cloth and the foam last a lot longer by not uh, uh, carelessly sliding along here, putting your weight on these parts of the seat. So I always put my hand on the on the sill like this when I'm getting in and out of the car. The velour is perfect on this side. It has a little bit of wear on this side. You can see on the red parts on this side. I'm just a few inches away, so the seat cushion looks good from over here. But um, the fact that there's some wear on that side and not on this side leads me to believe that at some point someone prior to me swapped the cushions, and I think that's an excellent idea. I do have new old stock cloth, so that in uh, 50 years when these inevitably fail, um, they can be redone correctly. And I think that's gonna be a real problem as these cars get older, so having a roll of cloth out there was prudent. And it's not aftermarket cloth, it's new old stock, it's real. Rear seat. People sometimes use the rear seat cloth to redo the fronts and then you end up with um, stitch lines that show where they shouldn't be. So again, having a roll of the real cloth, I think is key to the long view. There's the hatch cover. Um, there's the speaker grill, but there's no speaker because the car never had a radio. <laughs> That's the correct delete plate, and behind that, the bezel has not been cut. This is a uh, OEM blue shift boot with no tears. And I have a little piece of hose here that's not correct, but it compresses the accordion to keep it from tearing. The throw on the shifter is too long for the boots, so these all ripped. Um, and that little piece of hose is just a trick to prevent that. The original headliner, it's in perfect shape. Uh, under dash panel. This is access to the fuse panel here. A lot of these cars have windshield leaks, so this is all ratty. This one's in perfect condition. Um, the uh, lower steering column bearing fails on these cars. Uh, and there's a quick fix where you just put a hose clamp to keep it from sliding down. This is a re uh, this column has a replacement bearing, brand new. So the bearing itself isn't the failure point. There's a plastic cage, and the plastic perishes, and the bearing slides out of the column. Uh, there are new bearings available, so that's replaced. You can't see it. It's inside the, it's under here. Uh, door panels. Go to the other side. Blue, uh, blue window cranks. Under dash panel on this side. The rear again, but viewed from the other side. You can see the plastics, uh, they discolor. Um, this, uh, I have the flash on, so this shows really well in the video, the, the uh, fading. In real life, it's, uh, I won't say it's not visible, but it really isn't. That's why I think doing it indoors like this gives you a better idea. Uh, when I took a video outdoors, the flash on the camera wasn't on, and that, none of this showed. Okay. 
The uh, floor is covered with a layer of bitumen or asphalt and the paint doesn't stick to it so it would peel like this even when the cars were new, brand new. So don't be surprised by that. Stock uh, the original spare. And you can see through the windows of the uh, wheel, there's a little rust in there. So if I miss something, let me know and I'll uh, take care of it.